Hello to my CA family and to everyone watching. My name is Ralph. The text for today's daily touchpoint is Judges chapter 20, which picks up the story of the Levite who sent to the tribes of Israel the cut up body parts of his concubine. I want to highlight how the Levite minimized his role in his concubine's rape and death, laying all of the blame on the residents of Gibeah. In addition to distorting the facts that were given to us in chapter 19, the Levite fails to mention that he was the one who chose to push his concubine out, out the door to the mob to save his own skin. The Levite's version of the story exaggerates the guilt of the people of Gibeah, but it minimizes his own guilt. This tendency to do that is in us and goes back as far as the story of Adam and Eve in the garden. We humans regularly resist taking responsibility for our own actions. If you or I get reprimanded at work, it's the boss's fault. With relational conflict, it's the other person's fault. In marriage, it's my spouse's fault, and on and on. The last thing we want to do when it comes to the sins you and I commit is own them and confess them without spinning, minimize, or justifying those sins. Yet scripture teaches us otherwise. John 1, 9 tells us, if we will confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Our God is a gracious and forgiving God. So today, I want to encourage you that if you are aware of a sin in your life, don't hide it from God because A, He already knows all there is to know about it. And B, the good news of the gospel is that He's provided a pathway to forgiveness through Jesus and the cross. Get out of the weight and the shame caused by your sin by confessing it to God and then to a trusted friend or other who will pray for you. James 5.16 promises that if they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you might be healed. Confessing our sins to others can be very scary, but after confessing our sins to God, there is a healing and freedom available in confessing it to another Christ follower. Would you join me in praying and asking God for his help with this? Father, give us the courage to confess our sins to you and to others, and thank you for the forgiveness of all of our sins through Jesus Christ. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. It's been so great to be with you today and share God's word. Join us again for another daily touchpoint.